We don't have boxes today. Stacy's got a box that's over there, and she's going to open it. But we were told she didn't have to open that on cam. So she probably won't. I probably won't. I can ask her, but I don't know if she will. She's a little shy. I'm shy. I'm shy. Huh, KW? Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five. Is in Carolina Ashes on for for being our catetary tonight? We need a catetary. Our secretary, our catetary. Carolina Ash, are you on? Does anybody know if she's working? Anybody want to be the catetary? It sure helps me a lot. Sarah will? Does Sarah know that? Okay, so okay, who's doing it? <laughs> Do you guys know who's doing it? As long as somebody knows who's doing it. I yeah, Siri is sassy. Okay, is that who's going to be this? Okay, thank you, Siri. Or. Er, what is it now? I'm, I've got to switch gears. Sarah Boo, yeah. So this one is from Tom and Jean L. Oh, this is from Defiance. Uh -huh. Tom and Jean from Defiance. It's kind of weird. I don't see. Oh, <laughs> this is nice. Remember our cheap tapes that we collect? They sent in a bunch of cheap tapes. There's other stuff in here, too. So Tom and Jean L. from Defiant sent a bunch of the cheap tapes. You know, we get money for, for those. Hey, can I have that back, Holly? Yes, thank you. And they also sent the call points from the uh, Fresh Step. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. That's awesome. Thank you. That's... Uh, that's a lot of points there for us. And we collect those and we get free litter from that for, I don't remember, Jody does it for me. I don't know how many we have to collect, but for each group we get a 14 pound bag of free kitty litter. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's from Defiance. And are you trying to smack me? This one is from, oh, this is a local one too. This is from Suzanne. Uh, D D E R Suzanne D E then R and Suzanne is uh, someone that has been a supporter of the rescue center for quite a while. I'm so afraid I'm going to cut something now since I almost did the other day. I'm going to stick my finger in. Oh, and if you can put that that um, Suzanne did a donation. And this is in memory. Oh, this is so nice. This is in memory of pumpkin and honey. And also to help an older kitty. Isn't that nice? So it's in loving memory of pumpkin and honey and to help an older kitty. That's cool. Thank you, Suzanne. i got to show you all something here real quick. Come here, buddy. Come here. Here's my girl. Oh, now, don't look at, don't look at Emmeline. I've been picking her up and carrying her around more, and she doesn't utter a sound except right there. Emmeline was right underneath here. I love her. Wow. All right, honey bunny. Why don't you sit there and just watch me, okay? Okay, now you really are sick. I'm sorry. I should I should have moved Emmeline. Um, she will let us pet her minutes after minutes after minutes now. And, but it's, you know, it, you have to, you have to be careful how you start. Only because she doesn't like the other cats right there smack with her. In God we trust. This is, well, I don't know, but we'll look. It's from Georgia, it looks like. Cartersville, Georgia, maybe. Oh, this 
got to be something better than my finger and the knot and the cutter. Ooh, this looks interesting. If, if Florence, there's a Florence out there, I have to tell a couple people this, that if you got um, an email that was supposed to be from me that was foul language, that was not from me. That's all I'm going to say is please know in your heart that that was not sent from me. It was sent from somebody else. And I would never, ever, ever speak to anybody in the tone that some of the emails were sent. So um, just know that um, our, our emails are now secure, but there was a short time that they were not. And um, if you were one that did receive an email with foul language, that was not from me. And I'm sorry that anybody might have received something so awful. And um, I will hopefully get, get a hold of her and let her know that that wasn't me because I would never do that. Uh, this is from Jim. Um, this is from Jim, and she's got on there, okay to mark. <laughs> uh, we got a, a letter opener. Jackie, here's an easy letter opener so you don't have to struggle with that box cutter anymore. <laughs> I'm going to try this. Thanks, Jim. I'm going to try this on the next one. My big old fingers don't do so good on those. And this is, this is from our friends um, Anna Marie and Neil. And they're the ones who drove all the way here to adopt a kitty from a little bandita. Oops, and then I didn't use it. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep that right in here so I know where that's at for the next night. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a snowflake there. And it says, um, Dearest Jackie and Steve, volunteers and family, we are wishing you a very wonderful and happy new year. May all the kitties find good homes in the new year. Love you, Neil and Anna Marie, and then Vixen, Sterling, Kitty Cat, and Mercedes. And uh, Vixen is the kitty that they adopted from us, who's a beautiful kitty with blue eyes. Isn't that cute? Look at that. And it all folds up. And hey, what are you trying to do, Holly? And it says, uh, oh, this is to me from Vixen. See, Vixen has lots of names. It's Vicky, Vixen, Victoria, Bandita, and Shep. Can never forget the Shep name. Says Jackie, my dearest mother. Oh. <sighs> when a girl gets in trouble, she should contact her mother. Mom, I am in trouble. Uh-oh, that sounds awful. Something happened. Not that kind of trouble. I've been fixed, although I don't know what was broken. My new parents are very good to me, and the old codger, Neil, adores me. And Anna Marie treats me so well. On our trip home to St. Louis from FFRC, I was informed that I was going to be Neil's kitten. 
And I remember that. Anna Marie has two cats and they have accepted me. Her male Siamese is smitten with me. How could he resist? Neil has never had a kitten and that sounded like a good arrangement as every young blue-eyed girl should have a sugar daddy. Well, he is. Whatever I want, I get. Such is the nature of spring-fall relationships. I have him wrapped around my paw and life is good. <laughs> my problem is that he has that he has no kitten etiquette. He was a dog person and doesn't understand the differences between dogs and cats or the differences in their relationships with their fathers. I should have come with an owner's manual. He tries to treat me like his Sheltie dog named Mercedes. She and I have become good friends, although she smells funny and has about a 10 pound tongue, tongue that she licks me with. I know how to groom myself and once in a while I have to swipe her with my paw just to remind her of who is in charge. He expects me to act like the dog. I play his game and follow him around like a puppy. I even retrieve my toys when he throws them. Sometimes when he calls me I even show up. He bought me a collar with blue stones to match my eyes. As you can imagine the combination is beautiful. I didn't tell him that cats don't wear collars, only necklaces. You can't put a collar on a young independent lady like me. I am not owned. As you can see, I have tried to fit in with my inept father. He means well. He is just not too bright. <laughs> he is kind of an insensitive clod. Oh my goodness, Vixen, you are naughty. I have overcome all of these obstacles. My big problem is he occasionally calls me chef. He started that here at the rescue center. I am too refined to be called that name. I have been sharpening my claws and I might have to assert myself. I am a graduate of Badu's Buckeye Academy of Self-Defense. I told Dad to get out his wallet and send some money to FFRC and maybe they would name a kitten Chef or Chefette. Aww. So as to be gender sensitive, if you think that name would prevent someone from adopting them, then please don't do it. In either event, tell all my friends hi and use the cash for your new floor. Your help in this matter could avert a malicious cat attack on Neil, your daughter Vicky or Vixen or Victoria Bandita or Shep. Okay, Vixen, you are a little Vixen. We will use your mama's donation and your daddy's donation a fur on the floor and please don't hurt Neil. He loves you. He loves you so much. Thank you. Thank you for, for this. I so much appreciate it. And uh, we will put this towards our floor. So um, thank you. That little vixen, she's got it made, doesn't she? What a cool cat. What a cool cat. Okay. You know what's been fun about a lot of this, especially this month, is um, getting to know all of you guys as kitties and seeing the pictures of them all. And just, uh, it's been fun, fun to do that. Uh, I talked to the floor guy today. He's going to come tomorrow morning and we're going to talk. And um, I'm just hoping that, I think that we're going to be able to pull this off. So. We're going to go ahead and um, kind of get things started because it takes them a while to get certain colors that, you know, that we need for that floor in there. Um, also, I wanted to tell you that we have um, these kitties now are on hold. As you all know, uh, Don and Weasley still going to be going. They get their mama flies in here January 21st. Uh, KW will be going with the people that adopted Nebraska, and that will happen probably fairly soon. Tweenie, as you know, belongs now to Pam, and Tweenie will be leaving the third week of March. Uh, Whiffin, a uh, lady, came today and talked to. Um, talk to us and she really likes Whiffin. So it was so very cute. So she's going to adopt Whiffin and she will be picking him up the first week of uh, January. Uh, Haskins, Cat Lady definitely does want to adopt Haskins and he is going to be 
making his trip, his jolly trip to the vets tomorrow to get his little tic tacs removed. And uh, we'll pick him up in the afternoon. You know, normally we do all our own surgeries here, but since it's just one, um, I just went ahead and made that appointment because it's going to be a little while before we we uh, have uh, enough to do to call one of our vets in. So um, Haskins will be going. I'm not sure if Cat Lady said maybe Saturday or not, but I know she won't take too long picking him up. He's an awful cool cat. I love him. He's just a really nice boy. Tasco is probably going to go home with Dee. She's our grooming lady that comes in on Tuesdays and grooms these kitties and brushes them and massages them. They love her. And she's going to be taking Tasco home. She's loved him for a long time. And uh, now that she's got her tree down, she, I think she's going to go ahead and take him on Tuesday. Adora is on hold. And you guys don't criticize me for that. I've talked to Paul a couple times and said, what is the deal with Adora? And, you know, if somebody comes in and wants her, what do you want? And Paul says it is fine. So it has been talked about. It is okay for Adora to be adopted. Paul told me it's okay. He'll probably give us all a bunch of, yes, he is okay, a bunch of flack yet just to tease and pick on me, I suppose. But he's got, how many cats does he have? Uh, I was going to say six, but that might be wrong. And where he lives, that's enough. That's all the cats that he can do there. So um, Paul actually is the one with the coaxing of you web cameras. So went and found Adora to show this family her. And they were looking at um, a Chaplin and Shasta, but it just wasn't the quite fit. And then as soon as they picked up Adora, that was it. That was immediately, this is the kitty that we want to do. So um, they're, they're, they're going to be great. These are some really cool homes that's coming up. Um, and then this morning, we also had an adoption of Peach left. And uh, that's the one of the torties. That was our youngest tortie, or now second to the youngest tortie. And I think she will do great with them. Um, she'll, she'll do fine. That, that was going to be another good one, too, that I felt good about. Um, so I just wanted to give you all an update on what's going on around here. It's all good. It's all very, very good. We are, you all know what happened this past weekend. I'm not going to go into anything on that at all. I choose not to. I don't want to. And all I'm doing is focusing on the positive, what all the good things that we are doing and that is happening. And I'm not one to be the other way. I'm not going to do that. So these are the good things. Uh, we are so very secure. We're like, we've got almost everything down pat that we need to have in line. I've got a couple really wonderful people. Eric, our Love My Pets, is one of them. But we've got another fella that's been helping us as well. And he's just doing a super phenomenal, fantastic job for us. And he has spent probably 40 hours, probably minimum already, since Saturday, um, getting things all lined up, securing everything making sure that all is well. We've got everything taken care of now, other than we're going to set up a new account for Google. So when that Google is set up, then it'll be in my name for the Rescue Center. And the other thing that we have to set up yet is Twitter. So um, those are all in the makings. It's in the last final stages of all that. So um, I'm just thrilled. But this is the cool thing. When, and, well, so then, when all these other little things get done, then, then all the fun begins. We start putting back um, the blog. We start putting back the um, pet finders will be, we will be reconnected with all the pictures that we will take. Everything is going to be put back together into a brand new uh, website. That's going to be awesome. And this is the coolest part of all of this. Amazon will be too. Right now, um, don't if you want to order from Amazon, I would go to Amazon and order. That one we do not have connected yet, but we will. We will. It will be there. But this is the cool thing. 
when this is all done, the guy that's helping us, he will then give this. It's we, he and I are talking many times a day, getting everything all, all together. But when this is done and everything's ready to roll, this rescue center will have 100% control of everything. Um, I just think it's awesome. I'm thrilled about it. And this is the other best thing about it is that I will be able to go in and do this account and do this account and change this and do that. As it's been, I haven't been able to go in and do any of that stuff. It's been kind of layered or in these different ways that I couldn't get in the access very well. So and it was difficult. The way that it's being done now, we can do it. I can do it. And I'm thrilled. And it's going to be just awesome. So I'm really pleased with all of that. I will. I, I've been thanking him, this guy that's been helping. And he's just been awesome. He's gone out of his way totally for all of us. And uh, I, I know he knows that it's important for us to be together. The webcam, the Ustream, you know, everything. And that is true. That is so very true, Joe. That is how it's supposed to be. And um, I'm just thrilled. And the other thing with Facebook, I know, you know, you guys are awesome because everybody went ahead and got things rolling where we did not lose contact um, with Facebook. And as a result of that, we've got quite a few different um, categories, I guess you could say, of going into. We want to streamline all that and kind of condense it down a little bit so it's not so confusing that um, the categories are a little bit um, where there's maybe instead of six or seven, we've got it down to two or three. So, yeah, we're going to sync them all together. That's right. So I'm thrilled with this, and I'm just very grateful for everybody's support. I finally today started getting a lot of my emails done. <laughs> uh, who said that? Connie, you are so funny. <laughs> Uh, that would never happen. I would love to have it have be more like that, but I'm working hard, and I've learned an awful lot this week, and I've been thrilled to learn. It's been nice to have somebody show me um, how to do these things, and I love it. I love it, and tell me, and teach me, and show me, and it's been a lot of fun. So, um, um, I'm taking this one home. You're going to take that one home? I wanted to, that's what I wanted to tell you is, um, that's right. The more I do, the more I learn. That's right. Um, I finally got to get in the emails. I've got the ffrcmoth at gmail.com. That one is, at least when I came out here, it was 100% current. And I got all those answered. The other one, fofrescue at gmail.com. That one, I still am about 30 emails behind. And somewhere... If I miss somebody's email, I did not do it on purpose. I would not do that. Um, there might have been a few that had slipped through the cracks, and I'm just really, really sorry. And if I, when I get done with both accounts, if I've missed something that I shouldn't have missed, um, please don't hesitate to email me back um, an email that I might have missed. So, and the other thing, you know, we've asked you guys to do is uh, we need a picture of Bella to replace the one in, in Cafe Press. And uh, and our new computer guy was going to put the crown on Bella, like similar like to what it was done before. And then I get a phone call from Jody saying I have to measure Jody, or Bella's head for a crown. And so I'm not sure for sure, for sure, what all is going on there, but I think something's up for Bella. So you guys are always up to something. Just want to remind you all, if somebody wasn't on yesterday, um, Saturday at 4 o'clock, we're going to take the cam. It's going to go disappear into the office, and you guys are not going to get to look in here for a little while. We're going to do something fun for all of you webcammers. And then it'll probably take us about a half hour maybe, and then we'll turn it back around and um, show you what we've done for you. This is for us for me being grateful to you webcamers just something for you guys to have fun with um <laughs> it has been a very very busy week um i've hardly been in my house at all it's been very very busy but that's okay we're getting things done i'm going to step up here because i it's hard for me to see everything back there in case there was a question yeah the kitties are going to throw something that's for sure 
Um, let me see here. Well, I'm going to go get you. Oh, 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 oh. hey, Jody Ann. Um, will you send that to the FOF rescue Gmail one, the FOF rescue one? And then that way I can forward it on to the person I want to see that. That would be cool. Oh, no. you. Oh, is that when Siamese Mish, is that when you and Cat Lady's going to come and pick up um, Haskins? Our food supplies are doing pretty good. Our Friskies is getting low, but that's okay because we can um, double up on the fancy feast for a while. Thank you, Tyson. Thank you. Thank you, guys. It's got, it reminds me of snow, and I'm ready for snow. Not just one big storm. Um, Flickr and YouTube, we are, that. those will be back up, too. Well, the YouTube got, uh, yeah, I'm not happy with that. The YouTube got taken away, but I know I have the CDs for that. So the Sorry. CDs are going to go back in, and we will have our YouTube back in again, too. Um, oh, you guys, thanks, Bantry. Oh, sorry, Val. Uh, the kitty names. Yes, now. I, we couldn't find um, Putter, and I opened up the, the second door over here, and he was just sitting there looking at the door like he was ready to come out. So I was really shocked. I've never seen him go in there before. Yeah, I like one big, big snowstorm. Not too big. No, I'll just take make one big snowstorm and then watch it come.